You can't stop. Might stop a little while. You're gonna pick it back up. You're gonna pick the needle back up. Back to the work. Back to the work. My style is you go to the stores to buy the beads. You can buy small beads or you can buy the big beads. The small beads take way much longer to soak, but you get the most detail out of them. You got to beat what you wore the year before. So, I put all my wages, I ain't make too much this year, and I put mostly all my wages into buying my materials. You challenging who got the most pretty suit? Who pretty than pretty? If you pretty than me, I'm pretty than you. In the name of the game, Almighty Grade, you gonna get the Indians. Kill them, I'm gonna kill them dead. But you're not gonna fight them, you're not gonna shoot them, you're not gonna stab them, you're gonna kill them with that knee and the dread. This fella fluff. All this ostrich feathers. This a piece to my suit. This gonna go to the back of my crown piece. This my pants. This the front of my jacket that I'm putting together. This my gloves. And this my boots. Every room except for the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, every room except for the bathroom, bro. How often do I sew? All day, every day. My alarm is set 5.45, but 5.30 I'm up. For some reason, bro, I woke up about three Fridays ago and I went to work and they fired me. <laughs> so it made me feel good and I've been sewing good ever since then. I'm gonna do this until at least 12, one o'clock tonight. Then I'm gonna jump up and do it again the next day, all the way to Fat Tuesday. Then the next day, I get up ready to do it again. Who are the Indians? This is the old stories that were told to me. The slaves ran away through the revolts and the Underground Railroad. And the Indians gave them refuge in different spots. So the Mardi Gras Indians paid homage to them and giving them refuge. And know what else the Indians are? The most beautiful thing in New Orleans on Mardi Gras. I live on Jupiter Drive in Shellmet, and I hate living in Shellmet. Indians supposed to live up there. We supposed to live in New Orleans. But they didn't gentrify it so bad. The rent is super high, $1,200 a month. And then we got to buy all this stuff to make the soup. How you going to do it? You can't do it. Impossible. We had to move down here where the rent is cheaper. You got a million and one Indians down here, bro. Yeah, he got All us lost the canal in the night wall, little night wall. Now we live down here. The rent cheaper, and we can make our suits. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We got teeth, bro. And I'm sick behind it, because I show sure, I sure love my hood. Uh, Oh, you would love it. You would love it. I'm telling you, you would love it. I'm gonna 
with y'all, yeah, so it might not. Yeah, go back to when I was a kid. Daddy waking up at the break of dawn. He said he had to go and carry on. Listen to the sound of the bell. in that car. I'm standing in front 1230 Kentucky Street doing the, doing the thing. Man, teen in them solar houses. Man, you should see this, man. You should see this. Man, they off the chain. I'm going to bring you this in. I wish I could have had it. Boy, they fixed it. It's beautiful. Mr. Mac House, Mr. Mac House, nice too. Every house around here look like they're trying to fix them up except for your house. Oh, uh, no. That's why you don't worry about that. I'm going to make you proud. I'm going to get us a house. I wish it could be this one. I swear to God, I wish I could get my cousin house. <laughs> but I love you, Grandma. I'm going to talk to y'all. I love you, ma. Right. I'm glad my grandma with you. Love you, Grandma. I'm glad y'all was together so I could tell y'all that. All right. All right. This the reason why I won't go back. It wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't make any sense to stop this and go live in the night world and not do this. This what they want. They want big chief demon. They don't want demon. This what they need. Yeah, we in the hood now. Say what's up. What's up, bro? Who is that one? This is a discipline. You got to be disciplined to be an Indian. You got to be disciplined to learn the culture and the Indian game. You got to be disciplined to learn the needle dance. I think the big chief can save lives in New Orleans. He saved mine. He saved mine, bro. 20 years ago, I did drugs and heroin. I sold drugs, did all kind of dumb shit. That's how it was in our hood. Everybody. Until you got older and chose your path. My mama was getting loaded, bro. My mama used to get high. What about your father? Never knew him. A lot of these young cats around here, they don't have no father figures. That's what the chief is. He's supposed to be the father figure of the neighborhood. Who this side with us? This is who one, one side of the hold it. Oh, this go right here, check it. Gotta hold it right here. Cause I gotta see when I'm gonna put the suspenders up. Yeah, pull it some more. Yeah, dog, cause I like my shit tight. Go weave to back. Look where the suspenders at. Let it go, B. Yeah. Look where the suspenders at. That's where the apron go, right here, bro. How you looking in the front, Trigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you yeah. looking in the front? You gotta get him untense, bro. Y'all gotta hold the apron for him. You feel what I'm saying? You holding it, Chief. Y'all hold the apron for him. I ain't gonna be able to run no climb, huh? Hey, man, Chief. Close your belt. Well, it don't matter because your suspenders gonna be on, to be honest. I got to put one on. You can bell put that bitch clothes, you know what I mean? Just I got the clamp. If you got the clamp, you got to put it on that bitch. I'm going to That's what's going to make it hug. I got to. I got to make it hug. You make that bitch hug, you bag it in front of you, put clothes. That way. 
All right, we can solve that problem. Put the target in that bitch and then go back later and shoot your plug to hydrate your ass. Don't put it on right now. You got me? You yeah, got yeah, yeah. Bitch right now. Go make sure that table clear so we can put that you one on that B. Here, get the hat, Travis. Bring it with you. Lay, lay, it? yeah. Oh. Lay, it, lay it on oh, this yeah. bag, just like that, Travis. When you're going through the door, just squeeze it close a little bit. Three, four days before Mardi Gras, I don't leave the house because my grandma tell me, my grandma used to tell me don't leave because anything can happen. I left one time right before Mardi Gras. And man, we got stopped by the police and I went to jail. And I'm in that bitch looking at the news, Mardi Gras happening, fucking parades going on. I ain't going nowhere. I just connect with the spirits, bro. Uh, a few different elders come down from a certain place and they go into my body. Who are the Indians? We are the rebellious part to Mardi Gras. We not Mardi Gras. They call them Mardi Gras Indians, but we black maskers. Because of not being able to participate in Mardi Gras originally, we made carnival for ourselves and made it black masking. You can't forget. You can't forget because of the injustices that are still going on. So when I put my suit on, when I sew my suit, I'm sewing my suit and rebellious to that. We almost out the door, I promise you that. You have reached the voicemail box of five zero four. I don't know what the fuck they have in the trigger, bro. You ain't answering the number? Nope. If he don't come or something, I gotta find a way up in the city. Uh, well, go go rough with the pants. Do you know how to do that? You know how to do it? Do them motherfuckers. This bitch ass motherfucker trigger, bro. Yeah. 
Oh, I told you. Big old Come team. Here. We are the mighty coup de fire. We walk on water and can't get wet. Black Americans, regular black American people. And all these different homes in New Orleans. Sawing and conjuring our spirits together. Doing this in this city, man. You're not respected by many in the real world. Some people look at this as filiness. Some people look at this as a hobby. Some people look at it as we just monkey shining. But over the years, this saved my life. And when the kids say, oh, man, I won't be in there. That's what the children searching for in our neighborhood. A belonging. I want to bring a change to people's eyes for people to see, dang, he from the night water, and that's what he did. You got to show people what you can do. 
And that's where it starts. A twinkle in the eye, and you make the real world what you want it to be. And what it really is. Love. Thank you. 